how all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back to yet another video so here i have another template which is 100 responsive and you can use it in your upcoming project so it's a dango template and you can easily able to customize every single thing so let me give you a complete overview that how it looks and about the responsiveness what are the pages you will find and functionality is there which you can use it okay so this is how it will look once you log in into the application i will show you that how the login pages look also so this is the navigation the header bar here you can easily able to search as you can see nice drop down search bar you will have and you can easily able to search it here you have the details like here you can easily able to see all the notification which is coming in your dashboard in the project okay from here you can easily able to see the profile logout out and a nice avatar is there so this is for the header and on the right hand side you can find that these are the menu these are the navigations menus you can easily find and you can change it okay so this is the dashboard icon map notification user profile tablet list typography support and logout we're going to explore each of these pages so let's come to the dashboard and this is how the performance section would look like here you can easily able to so the information is like 60 70 and the moment you over on this line as you can see you can easily able to keep the track of every single data it's nice and beautiful animation if you click on this purchase here you will have our details related to purchase if you click on this session you here you will have our details related to session and it's beautifully created and it's as you can see it's really responsive so let's come down and here you can see that here we have a gear button so if you click on this here you will have a couple of options so here you can easily able to change the entire theme of your dashboard okay so if you click right now we are on this if you click on blue here you can see we have a blue color everything is in blue if you click on green here you have a green one and here is the dark mode so right now we are already in dark let's click on light mode so here it, how it will look on a light mode okay so this is how it will look but I prefer dark mode very much and here you can easily able to track the cells that how many cells you are making like daily sales and complete tasks which you can easily able to track with the details as you can see the moment you over your mouse you can easily able to get the entire information about this cells okay and this is the place where you can easily able to see all the tasks low you can easily able to check the tasks which is which you want to do it and here you can find that today tasks and here is a gear button and here you have a couple of options like account another actions sorry actions another actions simple some something else so it's really up to you how you want to utilize it if you click on this nice over effect we get and you can easily able to customize and add the functionality and here is the simple table if you want to display the the daily sales chart you can do it here as you can see we have this nice informations and this is the footer section now let's move to the icon section so it's also provide a couple of icons which you can use and replace the existing icon with the list of the icon they have here so as you can see this is how it will look you will find all the icons so as this is icon this is sidewise and card notification bowls so all the icons you can easily able to find and utilize it as you can see all you have to do is to simply copy this and paste where you want to use it okay so all the icons you can easily able to find right in the side now let's go to the map sections let's click on map and here we are on a map page just wait let it be load so this is how the map will look like here you can display your google map or a you can use any third party map providers so there are a bunch of in the market you can simply use it their api and plugin here and you can easily able to just simply display the map on this application so this is how the map page will look let's come to the notifications and here we are in the notification page so let it be open mm. so here you will find a couple of design so if you want to go with this design you can do it if you want to go with this and this and this so there are a bunch of options you have you can simply click and you can see how it's working this is the for the notification style and this is for the stats style so you can easily able to say the stats so whenever anybody gets sales they will get a notifications and you can pick any one of these styles to display okay and you can easily able to customize that you can see nice closing tab we are getting and here are the options you will find of the notification place so where you want to place it so if you click here it will come in this way if you click on the from the bottom it will come in this way if you click on top so it will come in this from bottom center this is how it will look from top right this is how it will look from bottom and this look perfect as you can see you can able to see everything 
it's beautiful I really like it okay just fill out your entire page with this notification let's do it and this is how it will look okay you got the point okay this is for the notification as you can see at after a certain time it will go off it will automatically go okay so this is how the notification will look like now let's go to the user profile and here we are in the user profile that we open so this is how the user profile page will look so here you can easily able to type the name username and the email address first name last name and the address and the city country postal code and here you can write about yourself and you can save it and here you can easily able to display the user profile like their name their avatar profile image their 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 ID and they can write about their descriptions and they can also type their social media profiles so the user can easily able to follow them okay so this is how the user page will look and let's go to the tab list and here we are in the tab list so just wait let it be open so this is how the tab list will look so we have a simple tab <coughs> and here is the list of the sales which are happening or you can call it salary so you can easily customize it and use it the way you want and here are the names and the nigeria from where you are getting the sales so these are the simple table system which you are there in the template now let's go to the typography section and here are the option and here is the typography page so if you want to customize the styling of the typography the heading which you want to use it so they have bunch of options here so you can pick any one of that and you can simply plug wherever you want to have that specific styling okay and if you want to add a custom styling not any one of these so you can easily import that as well okay so this is for the typography now let's go to the support sections and this is how it will look it will <laughs> so this is how it will look it will completely transform your application into Urdu language and as you can see right now we have this navigation on the right hand side and here you can easily able to see the start is completely changed so you can easily follow all these and you can easily able to have a track of this and everything is working as it is there's no nothing changes but the interface is completely different and here you will have your sales daily sales and those all things are in completely Urdu form so let's go back and let's wait it let it be open and so this is for the support and now this is for the logout so if you click on this you will be logged out from this application and you will get a interface where you have to ask so you will log out this in applications and here you will have a login interface and you can see you have to use a name and password and then click on login and here is if you want to create an account simply click on this create account and you will come to a page where you have the create account functionality so as you can see this is the registration page so you can fill up the details and register so let's go back to the login page and <coughs> I'm just logging with the existing address okay so simply click on login and here we are in the applications and now we can easily able to have a complete track and this this feature is really great i really like it and here is this option where you can customize it so this is how it will look on a desktop now let's talk about the responsive of this application so let's do one thing let's let's expand this <clears throat> so this is how it will look now let's see the responsive and as you can see it's fully flexible and it's working absolutely great let's see the first breakpoint so okay so this is the second first breakpoint we have here so we'll have this navigation so we can click here and here we have a we are here we have a slide in menu so here we can easily able to have the menu and from here you can easily able to change so it's a beautiful design and i really like it let's come down and these container will take in full width okay full width full width and this is how it will look now let's go to the second breakpoint and let's come go 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 as you can see this is this is the second breakpoint where we have this performance and this tab came down and it's replaced with the icon so earlier we had a name now it's displaying icon and if we go there this is how it will look on a mobile phone 100 percent responsive and looks looking beautiful as you can see this is how it will have this navigation so let's click here and here we have a user section so the dashboards let's close this and then we have the search box here you have a notification bar and here you have a logout options profile and logout okay 
so these are not not these so these are the options we'll get and everything is working as it is there is no breaking changes and it's looking absolutely beautiful okay so now let's explore one one all the pages okay so let's click on the icon and let's see how it will look on an icon device and this is how it will look on a mobile phone okay so this is the icon you can scroll all the way down and you can check everything that everything is looking perfect beautiful and amazing so let's come up and let's explore other page as well so this is the icons now let's go to the map section and and uh, this is how the map will look because right now we don't have any api and we are not displaying any i map here so this is how it will look so once you integrate your map it will have a place where you can easily able to see the locations okay now let's go to the notifications and this is the page for the notification so all the everything is working fine so if you click on top you will have this notification bar if you click center you will have this one so you can easily check and see everything is 100% responsive and working fine with all the functionality now let's come here and let's go to the user profile and user profile is also looking beautiful like we can have everything is working absolutely fine the user can edit their profile and user data so it's looking good now let's go to the other pages typography we have already seen this have already seen and let's see the Urdu format so as you can see this is how it will look completely changed the styling and everything is working as it is 100% responsive and it looks beautiful so now let's open it in a new tab and let's go back to the normal one so let's come here where is the menu I found click on this so let's come here and let's go to the dashboard dashboard and here we are back in the normal so it's absolutely 100% responsive you can utilize in your upcoming project and it's based on dango which is fully customizable everything is provided to you for 100% free so make sure you install this one and let me show you how you can get the source code of this applications so simply open it and <clears throat> So from here you can easily able to download. So this application is created by creative team and you can explore everything so like they have bunch of Templates here. So they provide for bootstrap angular react vs React native flutter and all these templates you can find all these and they have used CSS Tailwind CSS material UI so you can check from everything from your end right up here and from here you can easily able to download so I must tell you to come and download the template and check everything from your end okay so they have a bunch of pre-built component which you can use like in your upcoming project so hope you have found this video valuable if you have any questions any doubt leave in the comment sections and for the time being that's it and if you are new to my channel hit that like and subscribe that will motivate me to find this kind of free templates and make a video on this so you guys can have a look and learn from it and add into your upcoming project so that's it in this video hope you have liked it if you have any questions and doubt leave in the comment section i would love to help you that have a wonderful day